bag of bottles. I kept these brackets for the HMS. Might be able to do some of those. If I make something that needs a heavy bracket or something, it's pretty expensive to buy some of that. Okay, I'm gonna cut these down. Same bit as the last pipes I cut yesterday. Same bit, it's a little bit bent, but it works. Pretty bent here. <laughs> Held up pretty good. off here. A nice little logo, little plate there. I'm gonna take the plate off.
brass anyways. This is Miller oil burner. Okay. I'll throw everything in the car. And all the stuff here and then load a fridge in, a few more things, make a load. Well the prices are still pretty good. Okay. Okay, I got a fridge in. Let me try for this thing here. It's actually really heavy, so maybe put it aside or something. Try. That's like th over 30 right now. 30 something. Supposed to go like to 35. 35 today, so be pretty hot. up there so I'll rest it here so it can't go any further right Hard to get a really heavy load with 10. Seen HMS had, well, it was heavy, but. Should have more when I had it in.
Yeah, it's a hot one. Let me get organized some more here. Hold on, hold on. Actually, wire wire inside it. Pretty good load, I would say. I don't pay no more than shred for that. Cops are flying around steady. Probably the next load would be this, I think. So I'll do this load here. Maybe come back for another, another load, another fridge. At least get rid of the fridges. That one's actually a big fridge there. Okay, I'm thinking 700 pounds, my guess. I don't see a lot of weight there, but you're just as good as mine. Got rid of all the tomato, tomato cages anyways, that's good. Pain in the ass, to be honest. We get caught in everything. So nothing really small enough tuck in there even those lights are kind of bulky okay your guess I say 700 pounds okay okay it was uh, <coughs> 640 pounds um, 150 a ton and it was something like just under 47 dollars 640 pounds so it wasn't super heavy that's a problem, you know, you got one bulky items fridge, and that's probably about 250, right? And the rest is all small stuff. So it's probably okay. I don't see too many non fair sellers today. There are not many people. Very slow that way, but shred is pretty steady. I'm thinking this guy's dropping stuff all the time, but it's not busy like before. Definitely slow down a bit. Okay, we we'll go back and pick up some more stuff in the yard do one more fridge and a bunch of uh, loose stuff there just clear that little area out as much as I can okay go ahead Joe help me with this fridge that fridge is way heavier than the fridge
I wonder if I could two sides off might be enough. These two here they might pop out, possibly. Barbecue here, I could probably grab. on it. Back is sore, I don't know why. And so for a while. Yeah, should be okay load, I guess.
All this new stuff takes up room. Yeah, takes up room. exactly the way I want it to go but it's really close I can close it. Okay. Have another bit here, hopefully, or blade. It's a little bit aggressive, the teeth on it. I'm up to you can cut some of these chairs up.
locks you got in your house there. There's two of them there. I want to buy them each for five dollars. Well, those are trailer locks. Yeah, I know. I need to lock the trailer. I want more than five bucks for those. Huh? Ten bucks each. Um, well, he sold them for five dollars. I just sold them for five. That's what he sold me. I never gave, he never gave it to me. Pardon me? No, I never got five. Okay, well, then you're going to gonna be down there? After. Huh? When? Because I'm leaving Maple Ridge. Well. Where are the locks right now? Where are the locks? Where's the locks? They're in that little room. Because I moved all the bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's in that room with all the papers there. Because I moved everything. Oh, you moved? Where'd you move to? Another location. Oh, fuck. Let me just finish my cutting my chairs here. One second. Come on. Ooh, it's hot today. Sorry, I need 33 now. Dents in there now. Roll it for now. This one I want to take the little board out. Some of these little printers got a nice little chip in here, so I'll leave that. Okay, that's my load. Second load. I'm gonna say 700 pounds again. Let's we'll see, 700 pounds. Let's try for it. Okay, closed. I'm gonna see what this thing here. Hmm. Probably steel handle, I think. Just make sure what this is. And this one's brass here, so...
half a pound for sure. Okay, let's say 700 pounds, no, I'm going to say six, 600 pounds, yeah, I'm a little bit old, 600, okay, okay, got rid of that load there, sure nice with the air conditioning on, it's pretty nice, but it's still pretty hot, I'm going to go check on uh, that fire, remember the other day there was a fire across the highway, I'll go by there and see what it was exactly, I think it was a trailer, but no, it's really low. Let's check the next scrap yard. Scrap yards are actually not that busy. Not that much really. Nothing happening there. Okay, so this load was um let's just check the weight on this one. Five hundred twenty pounds. That scale was stuck on twenty, so I, w I waited, and they went back to zero after. Thirty-eight dollars and seven cents. One hundred fifty a ton. Five hundred twenty pounds. Boss load. Forty-six, forty-seven. So we got about um, almost $85. And that was uh, 1160 pounds, two loads. 1160. Uh, it's just kind of want to clear that area because all those chairs are taking up space, if you know what I mean. And the fridges, I still would like to get one more fridge out of there. But uh, it was good productive for me to make space. Because all that kind of like chairs are just bulky, right? I can keep my trash to one side more. Okay, let me check that uh, yard that caught on fire. There's actually a scrapyard fire yesterday on Mitchell Island. Scrapyard, I think it's Allied Salvage, I believe. I think it was called Allied Salvage, but they showed the big scrap pile on fire and then they were, you know, dousing the flames with water and the guy was picking through the load with his, with his uh, you know, with graphing hook. That's what it is, is, you know, it's so hot, right? The metal just reflects and it just bakes and who knows, it could be a piece of shiny chrome reflecting onto something else, right? You've seen in one of my yards before, I had um, a calder or something sitting there. It, wasn't even, it was still cloudy, it wasn't even that sunny. Somewhat cloudy, not even that warm. And I smelled the smoke and I smelled uh, burning. And I look, I can see the smoke coming. There's a piece of rubbery thing hanging between the middle of it. It's just like that, a fluke, right? Okay, hold on, let's see what happened. We'll go across the highway, stay tuned. Okay, we're approaching that location here. It's right next to his house, I believe. I'll be the second, maybe that last house was in here. No, it was trucks there. It's a high fence here. Whatever it is, it's been taken out, looks like. Huh. I don't see nothing here. Must have took it away. I'm sure it's a trailer. Probably caught a fire and it took a scrap here. That's what they kind of do because they're full of uh, fiberglass and plastic and wood. It's just a metal frame. So I think uh, it's gone because that's the house. Let's take a better look here. It's right. Someone putting new fences up also. I don't see nothing here. That's weird. Unless it's a little further on. I'm sure there's a trailer there, if I remember. 
can't see beyond this fence. There's a trailer here I saw. Oh, okay, right, right there was it? No. No. Can't tell. Well, it's a mystery. Had to have been a vehicle or something that caught on fire and towed it away or something. It was right across the alley, like right, right about there or so. Huh. Well, it's been about three days ago, so. I was right here in this area looking. Oh well. I'm sure it's a trailer, because I saw trailers before, and it's someone put a high fence up. There was never a fence like that before. It was all open. Okay, I think that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.